Welcome to your Building Elements module on Foundation and Footing. This module will introduce you to foundations and the related groundwork for residential construction. We will discuss different types of strip, pad and raft foundations, mostly using a concrete as a material. It will also introduce issues of moisture control in relation to the ground contact. We start the associated reading with a focus on strip foundations. Strip foundations are a form of continuous strip that run along the center of the load-bearing wall and you should focus on trying to understand how these relate to the bearing capacity of the soil. There are different kinds of steppings that are allowed in strip foundation but one of the most important things that you need to focus on is the idea of the shear force that might split the foundation. Once you've understood the issue of the shear failure in a strip foundation, you will recognize that the angle of 45 degrees for shear failure is an important one that affects the design of the foundation itself. Based on this, you will see discussions of a wide strip foundation which uses a reinforced concrete base or a deep strip foundation or a mass fill strip foundation. When going through the readings, please make sure that you focus a lot on the diagrams because they will help you understand the components of the reading itself. After the discussion of the width of strip foundation, we'll focus on pad foundation. Pad foundations, instead of focusing on a wall, focus on a column and form a square rectangular isolated pad which lie directly beneath the column. Just like the shear forces that we need to understand in terms of a strip foundation, there's also the punching shear stress pad foundation is subjected to. Please pay attention to understanding the impact of this within the context of a pad foundation. And it would relate directly back to the issues of reinforcing the pad as we have encountered in the context of the strip foundation before. Once again, the diagrams are particularly useful in understanding the text that is provided but it is important to go through the text to see the advantages and disadvantages of the different system and how they are carried out. The pad foundation would work alongside a ground beam to ensure that the wall is also supported in addition to the column which will be carrying most of the weight for the building. In that sense a pad foundation can be seen as a combination of the pad and the ground beam. We do not need to focus too much on combined foundation at this stage because we are mostly interested in small scale residential construction. This would also go for gabion pads. It's interesting to know what a gabion is. However, it's not something that we will be dealing with a lot within the context of this course. Finally, we come across the definition of a raft foundation. The idea of a raft foundation literally comes from the word raft in the sense of something that is floating on the surface as a raft does on water. Within the discussion of the raft foundation, you will sort of see the relationship that the foundation has as a slab underneath the building, helping it float above this ground structure. But there are variations such as flat rafts and wide tow rafts that need to be understood as well. Once again, focusing on the diagrams will help you understand both how these are different than each other in a diagrammatic sense, but also how they differ in construction with the use of different types of reinforcement as well as use of hard core in different contexts. Finally, we move towards the idea of a beam and slab raft and a cellular raft. A beam and slab raft will use beams across the raft at different points to create reinforcement. These beams could be facing downwards or as upstand beams and that would change the detail for the foundation itself. In other cases a cellular raft foundation or a buoyant raft will actually create a cavity between similar beams and slabs on either end. Once again look at the drawings in detail along with the readings to understand how these are constructed. This is all for this module. See you in the next one. Thanks.